here's the new video. I uh, hate myself for just saying, here's the new video. I started to hate myself for saying this. Let me explain to you something. This is the prelude to the entry to every video from now on. And this portion of video I am going to save and I will use one over and over and over again for the people of the United Nations, for the people at Amnesty International who all were involved in it, with Antonio Guterres, all other United Nations bosses prior to Antonio Guterres, to a knowledge together with a government of the United States of America, therefore the United States Congress. Of course, Joe Biden and his predecessors, the European Court for Human Rights, just as involved as the United Nations. I wouldn't even go into a new branch of human rights called the Human Rights Watch and so on and so forth. More disorganizations, less rights, I think. It's how it works. And of course, British Parliament, as well as German Bundestag, involved up to the throat in the bowl. People, you, the people who financed, promoted this genocide against me at large for no less than 51 years, through what turned beginning the 2015 upon release from the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje into a total gaslighting. Uh, except that the gaslighting, this is not. Uh, I've stated just a little earlier to myself what I call the memories from MK Ultra, during which I demanded in 1995 to have Milan Kuchan publicly hanged in the city of Murglia in Ljubljana, together with his comrades. I demanded from Slovenian territorial forces, Slovenian military, to take complete possession of Slovenian police, arrest them, trial them, jail them, and if necessary, even bring them in front of the gun barrels to justify the birth of the new country, independent Republic of Slovenia. I should say it's state, Slovenian state. This, however, the mentioned parties, anywhere from United Nations, Amnesty International, if this isn't sad enough, of course, rotten as hell, United States of America government, British, Germans, would have hoped for in this, at least in this video uh, scenario, I would present the world. It's what my Western allies believed would justify, just as psychiatrist Peter Kapschalon stated, regardless of the circumstances I'm in, regardless of degree of how much the case is proven or not, a progress of my being labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic in 2013, yes? So the importance of what I stated right now is for me to accent, accent that every one of these incidents I have reported and I continue to report, especially under given circumstances, do not equal to gaslighting alone, but direct assassination attempts equal to those in which arm, guns, therefore, or knives or whatever objects are being used against individuals. I will consider every one of these incidents, and there are numerous I have not reported about, 
not as a gaslighting, but as an attempt to murder, to get me killed. You don't only kill with a gun barrels, with knives, even more so, you kill. That's how they murder, that's how they kill in so-called democracies. Through the world of psychiatry, through the forced hospitalization or a prison system, which already labeled me as a paranoid schizophrenic in 2013. That's why I said at the beginning of the video, I started to hate myself for the way I start the video. Just It sounds like, oh, you, you know, here's another one. Here's another one to report. This another one to report. This another one to report. Consider it. Every one of these reports I do, I consider and will pursue through the court as an attempt to murder, as an assassination attempt. And there are a few thousands more than few thousands I will consider on the court against police officers involved, against psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, against Milan Kuchan, against the British Royals, against the Germans, against everybody involved. You're going to say good life, you know? good luck. Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to say to you, fuck you. It was good luck or bad luck for 51 years. That's what makes things next to environment that you projected I would operate in, in this aquarium of death, basically, which Pollux and other acknowledged as you must be, first they acknowledged this as, as you must be tactical, and then they realized that in this kind of world that they're going to get you no matter what the fuck you're going to do based on the stuff they heard, or I should say based on the stuff they faked. Because why? Because you were all in it. Every one of you that was involved in this stuff, they did not contribute with something positive, something real, actual. You sided with these politicians. You were involved with this police. You did. You contributed. You did not contribute me. You contributed to the genocide. It's easy to know on whose side you were. I don't give a fuck about people saying, Oh, my God. Oh, and this, oh, and that, and so on. Oh, and they're going to do this to you and that to you. Fuck you. The first thing is to make sure, as psychiatrist Peter Kopp stated, there is no doubt you're going to prove existence of the genocide. It's our job, however, to make sure that we prove the progress of your disease, a non-existing disease, once proven as progress, becomes existing disease. Doesn't matter, that's how it works in the world of psychiatry, yes? So, my dear sponsors, thank you very much for your help, for your, all your support, for all your advice you gave me, for all your medical examinations, all your efforts to help me. To fuck me the way you did on courts at international justices with Federal Bureau investigation with Central Intelligence Agency with your US Congress where you where I got so many friends so many great people met along and through the Hollywood and through everything that's what it comes to at the end actually that's what it was all along In this case, I am going to report to you about what my father have stated. And when I said my father stated, and what he stated is the main stuff is going to come at the end. And you are probably not going to be even reporting about this stuff. I'm also going to say to you that solely I myself will be judging about the fate of my father uh, and including my mother. There will be no such thing as Angela Merkel stated, if your mother and your father are not going to get sentenced and so on, then I will refuse to accept and this and that too and so on, you must and so on. There is no such thing as this. Uh, I considered a little earlier the salespeople from the local stores who are all involved in MKUltra 
and who had to perform accordingly with police instructions, accordingly with a psychiatrist financed by the British Royals from London. 1-800-LONDON CABAL, General Motors of the Crime, Global General Motors of the Crime, on how they have to portray reality, as on how they have to relate to me, as whenever I go inside of the store, what issues to stress, what even to put on display, on sale, involved from the past when police would purchase and use items from those stores during MK Ultra, so that I would wear them different stuff than what I have at home, yeah? All that kind of stuff. That it would make no fucking sense for me to go inside of the store and demand from the employees, citing them even now as I was told by the police officers to do, a possible penalties for not disclosing details about police involvement against me, or I should say prior knowledge of having me inside of the stores, because I don't even have any kind of documentation, any kind of special credentials that would give me the ability to guarantee this worker's safety afterwards. As well as mine, I figure out I could find myself inside of the store talking to the employees. Probably oftentimes even is the case with people who are involved on behalf of police in this crime. Standing right behind me, I and probably salespeople on reminding them what their job is. Anyhow. The Serbian lady, when I was the other day at the local Teddy store, did state to me, just as the police instructed me to, uh, to just go, they figure out I'm going to be looking for the glue, to glue whatever they knifed. Yes, this is, this is what was during MK Ultra selected as a knifing. Either this shoe or whatever shoe I know found myself looking for the glue. This shoes too, yes, this shoes, this shoes chopped like this, just like all other shoes, chopped on, on both sides, yeah. Chopped like this. Yeah. Well, everything is destroyed the same as it was in all other shoes. Everything in, in exactly the same area, exactly the same location. Knife. That's one pair of shoes. To just use the super glue to fix the shoes, for which the police alone inside of the store with the psychiatrist kept a shop for me. That's not going to be a good thing for you to do. It's not going to be a good thing for you to do, but we're going to try anyway to fuck you. By the way, these shoes were used in MK Ultra, exactly the shoes like this. These were purchased at Deichmann, and I know so because psychiatrist Peter Kapsch specifically instructed me that as soon as they're going to knife me shoes, I must fix the upper layer of the fabric. It's, it's knifed, it's on both sides. This is, this is the second shoe in exactly the same area, the same location, here and here. Always the same shit. He instructed me, that's why I know that these were exactly the same shoes, also, I know that. They already knifed me shoes that I did not even wear, they already damaged me, that I didn't barely put on my foot here for inside the house. Three pairs like this, they were already damaged. I don't have any comments for this stuff because this is a lunacy. It's a total lunacy. It's exactly what I stated earlier. There's no doubt that I'm going to prove this case, but what the British and Americans are paying the money right now for is 
to see just how much my disease have progressed itself. Yes? You understand? You do understand. Disease, even if non-existing, becomes existing if they can prove one that it, in a parenthesis, prove one that it progressed. Psychiatrist Peter Kapp stated, you must fix, they're only going to chop you the top fabric, because this has two, two layers of fabric. If you don't fix the top layer of fabric, is what psychiatrist Peter Kapp stated to me. The only thing that's going to happen is, this is going to, with a police officer, he gave me instructions, this is the first time the kind of shoes I have in my life I bought last year. The only thing that's going to happen is from the small crack, the crack is going to be growing, growing, growing bigger. During the first train you're going to have, you're going to have a hole through and through. So it applies to exactly this model. So good luck to you for you saying that on this kind of shoes, this is not true. I don't have any holes and any shoes yet. These are the first shoes I purchased in my life. Without advanced knowledge, I wouldn't be able to state what I have just proven is advanced knowledge which was given to me by the mentioned parties during bestiality they performed on me. So every one of these instances, there are too many to count, will be proven as attempt to assassinate, as an assassination attempt. So we're going to go by how many assassination attempts you exercised and then based on that, we're going to calculate the punishment accordingly with a prison, with a law, with jail sentences and so on. We're going to make that interesting. I don't want no jail sentences. I want something else to be done so that I can sleep at night in peace. So I don't have to build myself a house next to the prison and pay visitations every day to see you, to make sure that you're doing okay. My father stated to me during MK Ultra like this, without guaranteeing people their well-being, it makes no sense to just as police suggested me go and threaten people with sentences, if not disclosing details about what went on and so on and so forth, without special credentials, without exactly do you have the ability to guarantee their well being for their testimonies in return? It does make no sense. So it obviously makes sense to go first after the police, after the people that were involved in this genocide the most. Get them in a way that could be used to demonstrate what exactly can be done to the people like this to get the feedback from other people. That's exactly how that's done. My father stated to me during MK Ultra that the worst part is going to come toward the end of it. And I've not reported about it. But during MK Ultra, let me play you this here. There is some stuff missing, I just realized it. Oh, yeah. September 29, green jumper clothing was translated to me under MKO's deliberate urinated wear for father. Uh, if I'm going to be writing the stuff, negative stuff, yeah, I'm going to be giving him a negative reviews now on the internet. Uh, it's going to be a form of punishment is what I was told is going to be by the nurse who eventually came later at later time because I Julia. summoned her to have him clothing replaced that evening so that he could sleep at night with a clean clothing. Alright, what you see right there, those are uh, by the male nurse who participated in MK Ultra. Uh, if I already have to stress this, man, that threatened me, and this is another individual, uh, deemed that uh, I'm insane, actually, that uh, 
my father and myself are both crazy and if it was up to him he would just go and kill me and him those are the statements of this nurse who left what you see right there to me in the face during MK Ultra, not on one occasion but on few otherwise this guy appeared to be a calm quite normal guy uh he might have to state this he might have been more likely than not compelled to state something like this but he appeared extremely angry mad i should say enraged and he blamed it all on me who was in fact tied to the bed and most severely tortured on the bed where the father was this is the bed where either father was or i was during mk ultra and it's where they used father for the purposes of torturing me or i was tied to the bed and most severely tortured myself basically one or the other this was the bed where either my father was where i go to visit or i found myself on that bed and it was the same thing inside of the general hospital of novo Mesto, prior to the home of elderly people where they had my father what you see are remnants of what appears rather to be a psychiatric medications that my father probably is receiving is receiving police declines to give me any access uh, to anything that could make any kind of impact the right to decide about my father's uh, treatments at the home for elderly people even less so that i could bring one home and uh, rehabilitate one into a normal life they instead use a staff to do their staff and also my father to do his part accordingly with instructions of the people who enforced this genocide against me from washington dc london berlin through a local slovenian police psychiatrist peter kapš Slovenian politicians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a reminder of what I should be afraid of and this and that. Father is wearing obviously this green uh, jumpsuit which i was told yes that this is what's going to be and if it's going to be will be just left urinated or with uh something with big need in his pants they would not change him clothing and he would have to stay overnight which is extremely uncomfortable urinated or with the stuff in his pants and stuff like that this was like a form of punishment so the nurse granted herself basically the right to decide about my father's well-being at the home for elderly people this is an older nurse that was on duty whom psychiatrist peter kapsch would use just where you see the shadow this is what she would be father would be like this that i would be not exactly where the camera is filming from but to the 45 actually to the 90 degrees somewhere in the middle of the bed facing direction where the shadow is uh, actually father no? on this side of the bed is what i'm trying to say and we'll take instructions from the police from the psychiatrist peter Kopsch, nurse female nurse as i stated on how to view the future uh torture in life basically we no longer will be dropped up but we'll go and pay visitations to my father uh so they rehearse this stuff over and over and over again would have a father inside of the bed uh father would be rather goofing around uh and would be proving me at this point that he is playing around that he is joking around they give me how you're going to go and visit him how are you going to pay attention to him how are you going to care about him how are you going to do this for him how are you going to go there i don't know what the fuck you're going to do uh they involve all kinds of issues how are you going to uh, you clean him and i don't know what and they presented him to me with a father's assistant as somebody who is walking around in a bed 
and is rather pulling me for the nose. And the nurse, as someone who would immediately react against the stuff like this by taking one under immediate, uh, demanding from him immediate normal response rather than allowing him uh, to play with her. Uh, whether that will be at, at, at her home, or the case with her husband or somebody would not allow him or inside of this home for elderly, it was up to her that she would do it in order, basically, is what they suggested to me. And she continued to demonstrate to me when her father responded to her requests during MK Ultra completely normally and like a normal person. And to me, he would treat me during MK Ultra like basically you're fucking around with somebody. Till eventually he would start to even slap me in the face to prove me during MK Ultra that he was in fact fucking around with me. This is what my father did, and it's what, according to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, was extremely effective uh, because I lost my temper during MK Ultra, I understand, uh, with my father, and I wanted to started to enforce uh, his behavior uh, in exactly the same way as the nurse did. And that was the kind of stuff, the mental game that psychiatric scops uh, anticipated he would manage to lure out of me that would eventually lead even into the physical confrontation with the father while having him inside of the home for elderly people. At times, he would even slap me and stuff like this, my father. It was all the stuff that was used during MK Ultra that my father repeated, even slapping and stuff like this for giving one assistance. Now, in reality of it all, my father, and I know so because I was brainwashed over and over again by the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, was even told is in his best interest to spend on every two, three years, several months like this, laying in the bed in the hospital where he would be fed with artificial food or the food that they supply one, uh, like with the hospital meals, which are healthy and stuff like this, which is obviously they use my mother to enforce that portion of the genocide against one, and I portrayed one basically a food through the food poisoning that is in his best interest to live longer. Yeah? That's what a psychiatrist Peter Tapp told me. What do you think? Why do your father is still alive? Your father is still alive because of me. He is alive. He is so old already, and he most of the people don't live so long. Why do you think that he lives so long? That's because every older person should spend every year two, three months inside of the hospital where he should be fed like this so that he recuperate himself. Then he is led back to his environment where he can go and live a little bit more and a little bit less and so on and so forth. These are the words, the brainwash that psychiatrist Peter Koch used on me for 20 years. And not only it was not only on me, but also was on father again, on whom he enforced a paranoia a little bit through the food poisoning. It's all controlled by the police to convince him it's actually in his best interest to go and do the stuff like this. This, this kind of stuff also was used by the police to get me out of the father's bed, to push me as far as possible from the father's bed by insisting me that if the father is going to be doing the stuff like this, you should be paying one visitations. You shouldn't care for one, because if you will, that my father will translate basically good for the bad, yeah, you give him good for the problems, as something that uh, is good, something that he should be doing, something that is in my interest, actually.
like I'm fucking enjoying, like actually some sh- something that he is actually successful at, something that he is actually uh, is actually a word for him. And this is how they translate it to me. And they translate it to me that there was all kinds of stuff like this. They translated to me they did all they possibly could to get me away as far as possible from his bed, even that my continuous visitations to one, my paying attention to one, uh, eventually are going to seal his fate, get one killed, because they're not going to be capable to issue him a death certificate, a fake death certificate. That's what my father alone insisted. So they did such a tremendous job. They did such a tremendous brain surgery on my father. They did so many implants through through the use of violence, through the use of ongoing violence, that it's very difficult to determine in this case exactly how much of the fault my father directly carries. For all the crime that Slovenian judiciary system, Slovenian justice system enforced against me on behalf of the British royals, Bundestag, and Washington, D.C. With my saying this, maybe I can play you the stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this is... FBI... That kind of stuff. This, yeah. this, this is more. This is more related to the end of the MK Ultra sessions, 2019, beginning when police, not only as the police, realized that they have a big problem. They're not going to be capable to stop this anymore, uh, and the belief that I would be afraid, scared due to what I previously demonstrated and stuff like like crumbled pills that the guy left over there, like psychiatric pills, to inform the authorities, uh, basically submit the complaint to a proper authority to take action against criminals involved in this stuff. Uh, they suggested stuff like this, that this I would be the one who would go on eager IG is a prison in Slovenia, FBI, IG, uh, near Ljubljana is where I would be, and so on and so forth. They had me in all the prisons, all the psychiatric hospitals in Ljubljana, actually, excuse me, in throughout entire Slovenia and many abroad, as you know, I already reported about that stuff. I missed on a really, really important issue. Uh, I'm very sorry I missed on that one. Let me see what this is. Uh, How about why not this one here? You know this sound? Well, you know the hearing aid? I did not demonstrate you, but the hearing aid from my father, when the battery is inside, if you place one anywhere to the metal, it gives exactly this kind of sound. And this kind of sound will break through from his room into my room. You could hear one in the kitchen from his room uh, and would drive you insane. Even if you would never be exposed to the torture like the United States of America government have exposed me to, they would use the sound like this to beep in my head uh for probably I estimate the driving me insane for probably about like 15 years minimum. Yeah, I estimate like about like 15 years, yeah, what started in Miami uh, and was used literally as job at the Wacken hut. Uh, I would be hijacked from the United States of America to this house by Central Intelligence Agency, by the FBI. Never went from the U.S. between 95, 2000, and August of 2006. 
they would use in this environment at home here in Slovenia that would expose me directly to the sound like this, which would be, however, very loud, uh, to the degree that I would develop pain in my head. It would, it would literally start to hurt my head because it would be hours and hours and hours and I would lose orientation because of this during MTH. It would be like, I would be like in a complete total stress. I was under impression I am not going to even survive that kind of stuff. Then it was the Wackenhardt uh, Corporation, which owners and directly employees in charge for me, supervisors and such, uh, they would visit this residence here in the Novel Mesta before they would even offer me job in Miami. Place me, situated me in location where they would enforce uh, during my stay over there 24-7 uh, exactly the kind of sound that you hear right there. I would be working, I would be uniformed and I would have the alarm that would be peeping like this in the office where they had me, basically, where they had the monitors and there was just not a fucking thing they could do. It was also not only on this installation, but it was also used on other job locations to torture with this kind of sound. And every time in whatever store I would go uh, in the US, such as Call or Walmart or Kmart or whatever it would be, the employees would immediately trigger the sound like this to drive me insane, basically. It's a little bit more than gaslighting. I hope you realize this isn't fucking gaslighting. Gaslighting has its limits. This is something else. That's why I resented this shit to Pollux. Talking to me about that I must be tactical, that you must be tactical, tactical, and then they concluded Oh, fuck, they're going to get you anyway, so thank you. Uh, and what the fuck have you done about it? I mean, if you know that person, there is no tactic, there is nothing that you're going to go like this against the stuff like this. What exactly, what is your part? What exactly have you done about this stuff? When you watch them doing this stuff to me, knowing you helped them out to break my spine, that's right. This is perfect because psychiatrist Peter Kapsch compared this place here that you see with the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. Uh, he wanted me to see this place as psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje already way before they even threw me inside in there. He would guide me through here. This place has undergo uh, changes. Based on my memory, I have to verify this stuff with nursing. This place has undergo changes sometimes in 2000. Uh, however, the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch already started to enforce, compare this with the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje beginning in 1995, this location here, Home for Elderly People. He already started to threaten me with a psychiatric hospital, use Home for Elderly People uh, and psychiatric hospital, uh, demanded from me to see myself inside of the psychiatric hospital, exactly the settings that you see right there. Uh, this one here undergo the changes sometimes in 2000, based on my memory, it was in maybe even 98, something like this. Uh, and then it was also in Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Polje, they did some changes um, that I have to yet consider about that kind of stuff. I think that already was done or whatever that was. 
Uh, then I have to go inside and there literally uh, to do the inspection, the entire inspection of the building, uh, talk to the personnel to find out exactly about what went on, to see how my how it uh, it tests my memory against what is known as an ECT, that's electroshock therapy, that's basically electricity in your brain next to the drugs that are being used in you. That's what's known as MKUltra. That's why I stated this is not gaslighting, this is something else. This is perfect because psychiatrist Peter Kapsch Compared yes, this place here that you see with the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. Government of United uh, States. He of wanted America, me to see this place as psychiatric British hospital Ljubljana Polje already way before and Bundestag, they even Bundestag threw me inside in there. He would guide me through here I'm gonna and compare this understand. with the psychiatric but hospital Ljubljana Polje. The food yes, that you I have seen a little earlier that I demonstrated here, about something else. that is the food that is used to feed people on a tube which they install them in the stomach. That is the kind <laughs> This is... Even the food that was used inside the home for elderly people, that's always been used, this liquid food that is injected to my father through the stomach. Uh, that's exactly the kind of food they would also give me and they also would give my father during our stay, forced stay at this home for elderly people, uh, through the nose tube. Even that kind of stuff, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch used best to his abilities with idea to make one appeal to me as disgusting as possible. He repeatedly used police officers and did everything he possibly could and was extremely disappointed because Orally, I still consumed, it was nothing because the nose. I would consume this orally, and as much as he complained about the quality of the food, I did not. You know, the liquid food that I demonstrated you earlier, I'm going to demonstrate you one again, that was inside of the father's room. It pissed him off enormously because I didn't have a problem with this kind of food as for the food taste, that it tastes like it's shit, yeah, yeah. and it's not crunchy. He was the one who had a problem with the crunchy and not crunchy. And this and that. They have this kind of food, yeah, this kind of liquid food. Let me mm -hmm. see if I can... They're, they're, they're lost this psychiatric medications, and it was a police yeah, officer be here. So I, I can use this. that. I think it was a police officer or some employee uh -huh. did not get track of the body. So that's how They're we're going to go, that's how we're going to do it. You're going to see this video and every fucking video I'm going to post in the media. So did you understand the nature of this stuff? Because I don't like to go about they did this and they did that just, and so on and so on. If that doesn't tell anything. I've but you understand like that every violation you see is not, not a violation, but assassination they equal to assassination of them time. You will consider me. You're gonna see me like a human being. Otherwise, you never. They're will. really getting nervous. Basically, here. You never did, and you never will. Anyway, you saw yourself as a human being through the dollars in your pocket. Uh, this is just a food. Um, I don't catch one here in this video. Uh, however, what you can see right on the side is in a, is in a package, it's liquid, it's a brown color. Uh, 
it's full of vitamins, it's full of the nutrition that the body basically needs to, uh, the basic nutrition that the body needs right there. The body would need to recuperate itself. It's like in a tetra pack, like in a, like a plastic package right there that with a tube on the top right next, next to that uh, cup that you see right there it's got a plastic bag it's a brown liquid inside that's what was used by the police by the police investigators who met me one met me at the police station as they stated when i went on to request medical files the right to medical files from my father so that i could provide assistance for my father rather at home and the other one the other criminal stalked me at brusnice to depict himself over there like randomly uh like as i did go across come across some property then somebody else that was involved in it uh and He did exactly. Oh, there you go. This is this is perfect. This, everything is here. There you go. You're gonna let the video roll. This is perfect because psychiatrist Peter Kapsch compared this place here that you see with the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. Uh, he wanted me to see this place as psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje already way before they even threw me inside in there. He would guide me through here and compare this with the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. The food that you have seen a little earlier that I demonstrated you, that is the food that is used to feed people on a tube which they install them in the stomach. That is the kind of food uh, he promised me I'm going to have to eat consum uh, to stay even alive, basically to the thing is that he was making fun. He ridiculed. Uh, he, re he, he totally ridiculed uh, the food itself that doesn't have a taste, uh, that you, it's not crunchy. Uh, and when I actually stated one that I like that food, that he said it doesn't have taste and so on and so forth. Uh, they started to feed me with that stuff. I don't know what they have done with it, but I know that stuff also was used uh, to poison. Literally, even that kind of food, special kind of food, they have used in me during MK Ultra. Well, the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch did not only ridicule the food, make fun he laughed actually he laughed about absolutely everything the most with his police investigators he laughed about my future status of liver of kidney body organs because of which 
I would stay, have to stay at the hospital, consume this kind of food. I would be punished, according to him. Uh, it would come time, and you would have to, and it's going to be, that's when you're going to, it's going to be all over, and that's, it's going to be your time when you're going to have to be subjected to this kind of food to cure yourself if it's going to work for you at all, if your organs are not going to be already damaged enough. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, just as I have written about down here, I gave a testimony about psychiatrist Peter Kopsch's involvement into the way he expressed derision for uh, a damage, for a failure of uh, my body organs, such as liver and kidney, was completely indifferent from what they managed to even video record one on the camera. Like, for instance, in this video here that you see, when psychiatrist Peter Kopsch uh, advertised his her knowledge her uh, about depression issues, you will be able to note psychiatrist Peter Kopsch laughing openly, going like crazy, basically, exploding from the joy. Just watch this video at the beginning. Depresia je jedna najpogostejših duševnih moten. This was video recorded by, uh, it appears like a Miran Slavizar. I was pretty damn sure, uh, I don't know, they advertised this through the radio Kirka, I saw it. On opportunity when Slovenian police hijacked me from Poland in 2019. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch had a really good blast. He was laughing at me on the side. He would be inside of this classroom. He would prepare himself and so on. And they caught him how he was laughing about causing me injuries, including depression. Uh, he was laughing about depression. He was giving me his in and out. He was using exactly the article which I presented and can be seen here. Nah, he would use several different, he would use several different scenarios for what you see here uh, about the suicide, uh, concentration of uh, attention, because you have the ability to concentrate, a uh, lack of sleep, uh, he was making fun. He was making joy out of the kidney, out of the liver uh, failure. The stuff they were doing during MK Ultra, destruction of the kidneys of the of the liver, uh, where they repeatedly would have me suffer with this sound. They where they repeatedly they would have me piss blood and guaranteed me. I learned from the police officers that the worst patients, the people who suffer the most in this world, are the people who have a problem uh, with a liver. They told me those are the people. They took me to Ljubljana, to the General Hospital Ljubljana, where they demonstrated me these people. These are the people who get to sleep even two hours per night. They told me, you don't understand what kind of pain, what kind of sorrow this is. Then, when they explained me, when they demonstrated me, then they started to laugh in my face, guaranteeing me, hey, hey, hey. well, this is you. Do you remember when we show you the people at Ljubljana? Eh? Do you remember when we brought you to the clinic center in Ljubljana, department where they had these patients with a liver failure? They all die sooner than later. The suffering they go through, they pray to be dead. Well, mate, this is you, this is you, this is you. Ah, 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 ah. I just want you to give, understand Antonio Guterres, 
who is enforcing this genocide against me for 51 years was involved in this. I want you to understand United Nations contribution to this. I want you to understand Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, government of United States of America, what one enforced against me on behalf of London, on behalf of German Bundestag, what your tax dollars are being paid, spend on, how they want to prove the progress of my disease, mental illness disease. So, I thought that I would make this as colorful as possible, since this is going to be absolutely under every video from now on, and I'm going to make sure it's going to pop up this stuff also to other videos that you're going to be able to understand uh, what exactly you have done, what exactly you have, what kind of stuff do you do, what exactly do you get paid for in the United Nations at Amnesty International, at the U.S. Congress, the proud American citizen I am, I became in, in the year holy of 2000, or I should say what your allies, those that commit themselves to you, to American NATO, to Western allies, what exactly they can expect once they become your allies, basically, what their expectancy is, what they should expect, that things are going to turn out for them. Yes. You enforce this genocide. You are the one. You empower them. Stuff I have spoken about today no longer even existed in 1991. But it was British royals. It was Germans who gained back their country that have revived these murderers and have used them best to their abilities against me, depicting me to the world as Christ in their own image to gain the sympathy from the rest of the world, but at the same time gazing all over me and gazing all over other people, as I stated, that committed themselves to this friendship, this, this camaraderie, this tovarish, well, I don't know how I would even express myself. To this company. That's how it works. That's how it worked. That's how it works. My father, and I don't want to miss on this video because this is what I did. This, this is why I did this video. My father would literally go during MK Ultra for the sake of the police, for the sake of the psychiatrist to even slap me from the bed where he was lying in the face, bullying me, challenged me, ridiculed me in the face, so that he could accomplish the maximum, the best of the best, I should say, to prove the progress of my illness for the sake of Slovenian police, for the sake of Slovenian government. Thanks for watching this video. I don't have anything else to say. I think I did very good job so that you understand who you are. Basically, when you look at yourself in a mirror where you are British, this is an English language done for you, especially for you to understand. It's so universal that people in India will understand. Imagine about our potential throughout the Africa, United States of America, Canada, that they will understand that they, that they will understand basically the difference that you make, the impact that you make in this world, the, your contribution to this world next to mine, and we'll be able to compare. Evaluate you and myself accordingly with what, it doesn't matter. The standards that you claim you represent. Thanks for watching this video. Today is October the 9th, 2023.